So the first eyeshadow I'm taking is this new Makeup Forever eyeshadow. It's just a really nice, cool toned brown kind of color. And I am working that in my crease with a fluffy blending brush. This is gonna act as our, eh, as our transition shade for our smoky eye, just to keep everything really soft. So just really blending this into the upper crease. And I also have a piece of tape laid down just to create a really nice crisp line at the outer edge of the smoky eye today as well. And then I'm just kind of taking a clean, fluffy blending brush and running it over the uppermost edge just to soften out that color. And then going into the actual crease area with a 217 in that same Makeup Forever shade, I'm just working this into the crease just to give it a little bit more depth and act as more transition color. Blending everything out one more time with that Sigma blending brush. The first eyeshadow we're taking from the Tom Ford Titanium Smoke Quad is the black on a MAC 217 and we're going to work this right in the crease area, um, starting really light and building it up. This is going to help the black on the lid later really blend out a lot easier. So just applying that to the crease area and softly blending it into that Makeup Forever eyeshadow. And taking a clean blending brush again just to soften everything again. Sometimes a finger works too. And then I'm just deepening the crease one more time with a little bit more of that black shade. Next I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Color in Jet on a synthetic brush and I'm going to just pat this all over the eyelid area, not taking it into the crease. You want to keep this on the eyelid only. Um, all over from outer corner almost all the way but not quite all the way to the inner corner because we're going to put something else there later and making sure you're really pushing that into the roots of the lashes as well. Next I'm taking another synthetic brush this one's from Real Techniques and I'm just going to attempt to softly blend out that cream shade. It sets really, really fast, um, but that's okay. Just blend it out as much as you possibly can because we are going to go over it with another eyeshadow, so it will all come together, I promise. Going back in with that black shade from the quad on that 217 brush and we're going to just run this really softly over the edges of that cream eyeshadow and you can see how even though it looked really harsh before it's starting to soften out the edges and look a little bit more seamless. Um, so yeah, we're just going to lightly work that color along the edges of that cream color into that crease area. And then going back in with the Makeup Forever shade again on a different 217 over top of all those black shades in the upper crease just to help soften those out even more. And once again with the blending brush from earlier, running it over everything just to make sure everything's really soft. There's a lot of repeated steps here because with a black smoky eye you want to make sure everything's really blended and there are no harsh lines. And now I'm just packing that black shade on the eyelid on top of that cream color. This is going to help set it in place and also just add more depth to the smoky eye by making it really black on that lid area. And once again, repeating those blending steps just one more time to make sure everything is really flawless and seamless in that crease area. Next I'm taking that sparkly black eyeshadow from the quad on another um, 239 brush and this we're going to pack just right in the center of the eyelid to add a little bit of dimension since everything is looking pretty matte so far. This just adds a really gorgeous um, shine to the eyelid. And then moving on with these mug eyeshadows, a combination of the two, I'm using these as a brow highlight today. And just a little tip with really dark smoky eyes, if you find that you have trouble blending, pull your brow highlight color down and then blend. use a blending brush to smooth it out and it helps that transition in the crease look a lot more soft and blended. 
And then I'm just tight lining with the MAC Fluid Line Pencil in Metropolis just to make sure the roots of my lashes are black and there's no pink skin color showing through. And now it, you get to remove the tape, which is always the fun part because bam, look at that line. Perfect. And then you just want to apply a coat of mascara. I'm also going to be applying a set of falsies today. What else is new? Um, but the falsies I'm using are a pair of half lashes. Um, the look is so dark that really like any pair of lashes just disappears, but this just adds to the feline shape. So that is the completed eye look thus far. I'm gonna move on to foundation and concealer and then come back to the eyes. So going back to the eyes, I am taking that same fluid line pencil in Metropolis and dragging it from the outer corner of the eye across the lower lash line about halfway and then taking a really tiny smudge brush and just running it over top to smudge it out and pull it across a little bit farther towards the inner corner as well. Then I'm taking that black from the quad again on that same tiny smudge brush and I'm going to just put it over top of that fluid line pencil just to kind of help set it in place and make it a little bit more black and also to help smudge it out a little bit. And then taking a really tiny blending brush by Sigma with nothing on it at this point, I'm just running that over top of that lower lash line color just to give it a little bit more softness so it's less of a harsh line. And then taking that Makeup Forever shade on the same tiny blending brush and running it over top of the lower lash line just to help it blend out a little bit more so it's not just a line of black under the eyes, even though it's still quite dark, but you know what I mean. Um, moving on to the fluid line pencil again, I'm using that to just line my water lines. I noticed that this stayed all day, so it does set, um, which is awesome because I have trouble finding liners that do that on my water line. But yeah, um, I'm just moving on to this shade, which is a sparkly pale gold, and I love it. And I'm using it as my inner corner highlight today with a pencil brush and I'm sorry I'm kind of out of frame here um, but yeah I'm just applying that to the inner corner and then just a coat of mascara on the lower lashes again I apologize that I'm out of frame but once you have the mascara done then the eyes are done um, it's a really dramatic smoky eye I really love it I haven't done one of these in a long time but yeah that's the tutorial I hope you guys like it and please subscribe and thank you for watching